Welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. In the last part, we began Tails' story, and we got a lot of stuff done. We completed three action stages in the last part, and the only reason we completed three was because they were incredibly short. But that's just the thing about Tails' stages. They're very short, and they're very easy. So, yeah, this story's not gonna take very long to complete at all. In fact, I did check, and we're already up to 40% story completion for Tails. So, we're almost halfway through Tails' story already. But, uh, in this part, we're in the Mystic Runes, and we have to go and battle Knuckles again. We battled him already as Sonic, but now we have to battle him as Tails, so let's go. He's right down over here. Let's go confront him. Alright, so we gotta battle Knuckles. Again, Knuckles is not that difficult. Just oh, no. jump in his face, and that somehow damages him. Oh jeez, what in the world even happened there? Yep, so he's done. Easy as that. Where is Sonic in this cutscene, by the way? I just realized. Sonic is, like, nowhere to be seen. He's got the emeralds! You two are bumbling idiots. You know that. Oh, there's Sonic. Comes out of nowhere. Hey, those are... The Chaos Emeralds. You are so easily tricked. All I did was wait for you to bring it to me. What the heck is he talking about anyway? Don't you realize when you've been tricked? Tricked? No one makes a fool out of me. Way to go, knucklehead. <laughs> Four! Count them! Four emblems! I summon chaos! Come forth! So now we are battling Chaos 4, yet again, except this time we're battling him as Tails. And I did mention before, when we were playing as Sonic, that he has slightly less health if you're playing as Tails. I think he does anyway. Like I said, I, I'm not sure. But I find that Chaos 4 uh, does go down in slightly fewer hits than uh, if you're playing it as Sonic. Like if you're playing it as Tails, he goes down in fewer hits, I mean. But let's just, let's just battle him, and yeah, this is, again, this is not that difficult. I think you just take him down in four hits, and that'll be it. He's already at half health, so, and just, we can just fly around as well, so this makes it a whole lot easier. There we go. Just gotta land one more hit on him now. He's not really using any of the attacks that he was using on us when we were playing as Sonic, though. Which is strange. But, uh, yeah. Just gotta... Hit him one more time, if he'll come back out of the water. Come on. Stop roaming around, Chaos. Just let me hit you, please. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on, here. Not even attacking me at all. Okay, here. Let's just go get him and stop flying Tails there. And Tails is floating. So yeah, even even as Tails, Chaos 4 is not very difficult. In fact, he's much easier if you're playing as Tails. And here's that awesome cutscene again. Be 
Behold my floating masterpiece, yep. the egg carrier. And then, of course, the, the crappy-looking egg carrier in-game. In to the power of chaos. And you, until we meet again, my friends. <laughs> And there he goes off into the egg carrier again. Hey, we can't let him get away. Let's get to my workshop and we'll take the tornado. Yeah. You guys go. I have some unfinished business to take care of. No problem, Knuckles. We'll take care of everything here. Let's get going! Alright, let's get going then. So now we have to go back to Tails' workshop, and... This is, this is basically Sonic's story right now, because... We need to go back to Tails' workshop. Sonic, wait here for a second. So we can begin, uh, Sky Chase Act 1 again. Because we do actually have to play Sky Chase Act 1 again as Tails. And this time around, Sky Chase Act 1 is literally the same thing as, as Sonic Story. Like, it's no different than if you're playing as Sonic. No differences whatsoever. So Sonic hops in. Again, he's just standing on top of the plane. Still not sure how he, how he doesn't just fall off the plane as it's taking off. But yeah, we just go back to Sky Chase Act 1 and we play it again, just like normal. This is the exact same thing. There's no differences. We're just playing the exact same stage again. So, let's go and, uh... wreck all these fools again, I guess. Just target these guys right here. Alright, so we need to just go back to the egg carrier, hit these guys, there we go, fire some lasers at them. I guess I could, I could try getting a, a better score than I did last time, but I don't really remember what, uh, what score I got last time, though. I don't really remember. I, I wasn't really paying attention to the score, to be honest. Maybe I'll beat it. Maybe we can get better accuracy this time. Not sure if the accuracy even is even important for anything. Oh jeez. No! You die! Oh no. Wait. Wait, how am I how am I targeting these things? It's like I'm not even firing lasers at them. I was targeting these things, but for some reason it, it wasn't firing. Like see? Got the crosshairs? Okay, well that that's strange. Don't know if that's a glitch. Just fire at these guys. Can I get that guy up there? There we go, got him. Get the guys down here. There we go. And these guys. Yep. Firing bullets at me. But it's not not hitting me at all. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the things on the side. There we go. Really wish I could stop calling them things and just call them by their official name, but I'm not really sure what their official name is. They're, they're just things that fire spike bombs at me. Okay, I just crashed right into that guy's chip. I don't even know how that... That didn't just make my plane explode. Alright. Well, this stage is not that difficult anyway, so I guess I can be more reckless... ...than, uh, in Act 2. In Act 2, I can't be as reckless because it's a bit more difficult. Act 1, it doesn't really matter how much damage you take. Go, Not really, anyway. So Eggman's gonna fire his laser again. Yep, yeah, here he goes. Charging it up. I don't even know what he's saying in this cutscene. Can't really make out the words. And we get hit. And we're going down. Wait a second, what is going on with Sonic's feet there? His feet are kind of freaking out. And as you can see, we don't get an emblem from completing it again, because we already completed it. So we didn't even get an emblem from that. And then here's a sad cutscene. With Tails just walking in the forest. It's so sad. Yo, bro! 
I like how Tails' mouth just opens wide, like that, very slowly. There's Sonic. He's just following him. Jeez, it's like Sonic is just running towards the cliff, like he's going to jump off. <laughs> Tails is going to jump off with him. Mmm, wow, that dream brought back memories. I owe so much to Sonic. Sonic! Wonder where he went. Sure hope he's all right. The tornado's not powerful enough. If I'm gonna get that egg carrier, I need to finish my prototype. It needs a Chaos Emerald to work. Looks like I better find one fast. And because I've played this game before, I know exactly where to get it. So now I think we need to go back into the jungle. This trolley car works now. And I think there's... certain place we need to go in the jungle. Um, let me try to find it. The only problem with navigating through the jungle in this game is that it's like a maze. So it's, it's kind of easy to get lost. Oh wait, I found it. And there's Froggy. And he eats it. Even though he was nowhere near it. Stop! So yeah, we need to follow Froggy into this cave. We need to hit this switch up here. And that'll get rid of the sand. But for some reason it doesn't get rid of this invisible wall. At first. There, now we can go in. So now we're at Sand Hill. This is another sub-game. And interestingly, this is a sub-game that only Tails can play. Not really sure why you can't play this sub-game with other characters, and holy jeez, calm down, Tails. Tails, please, stop crashing into rocks. What are you doing? But yeah, this is a sub-game that only Tails can play. Not really sure why. It would be kind of fun if, if Sonic would have been able to play it. But, uh, yeah. So we're just, uh, snowboarding down a... Mountain made of sand. We're sandboarding. And we have things collapsing. We have runes collapsing all over the place. Gotta go through these gates. Not sure if there's any point to going through these gates. Unless, uh, going through all the gates in a chain gives you, like, a high score. And I'm not really sure, though. Darn, I'm getting a good chain right here. Mmm, good chain. There we go, 25. And that's it! We caught Froggy, and that's it for the stage. 55 seconds, again, completed it in not even a minute. And we do get an emblem for completing it. Now, uh, something I forgot to mention is that... Um, if you're playing the GameCube version of Sonic Adventure DX, you'll actually unlock something once you complete, uh... Or once you, uh, collect 20 emblems. I'll, I'll just wait for Tails to stop talking. So yeah, as I was saying, um, you do unlock something once you collect 20 emblems if you're playing the GameCube, in the GameCube version. Jeez, I can't speak English today. But, uh, the thing that you unlock in the GameCube version for collecting 20 emblems is the Game Gear version of Sonic the Hedgehog. In the GameCube version of Sonic Adventure DX, there were hidden Game Gear games that you can unlock for collecting a certain number of emblems. And once you collected 20 emblems, you could unlock the Game Gear version of Sonic the Hedgehog, and you could play that. And some of the other games you could un unlock included, uh, I think Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sonic Chaos, uh, Sonic Drift, I believe? Yeah, Sonic Drift was in there as well, and I don't really remember the other ones you could unlock, but... In the PC version, and also the PS3 and 360 versions of this game, they removed the hidden Game Gear games. So now, collecting 20 emblems doesn't unlock anything, unfortunately. Kinda wish they didn't remove it, but... 
it doesn't matter. Uh, we're here now. In this place. We're not really sure where we are. Or at least Tails is not sure where he is. But I know exactly where he is. We can go and collect this upgrade over here. And this is... You found the rhythm badge. To do continuous tail attacks, hold the action button down. So yeah, we have the rhythm badge now. Upgrade for Tails. Ever you press the D or A keys. When he does his, like, a uh, tail spin. Um, yeah, he continuously does it. And he doesn't stop doing it. So now Tails is, is basically a tornado. Yep, tail, Tails is a literal tornado right now. And that ring just phased right through the wall. So yeah, you can actually, uh, destroy these weeds to get rings. Occasionally rings will, uh, fly out of them. Not, nothing's happening right now, though. There was one ring that came out of one of the weeds, though. Oh, like, right there. There we go. So yeah, you can occasionally, uh, get rings by, uh, destroying these weeds. It's pretty cool, I guess. Get some rings. But, uh, anyway. That's not important. What's important is that we need to, uh, we need to find Tikal. Who is that, who is over here, actually. So we need to walk up to her. And he wakes up before he can even answer that. And here's Big Steam. Here he comes. Oh jeez, the camera shaking. Oh, going in for the tackle! Like we're playing good old football. Big cannot catch a break, can he? So now we have the Chaos Emerald, so we can go and power up the new Tornado 2. Yeah, you know what? I think I will continue playing for a little while longer. Basically, we have to uh, complete Sky Chase Act 2 next. With Tails. But I think what I'm gonna do is that I am gonna... Time has come at last. Well, I'm gonna let Tails talk first. This new plane should work a lot better. I've ironed out most of the problems. So, here it goes. Emeralds, do your stuff! Ready, Sonic? Here I come! So yeah, I'm gonna complete Sky Chase Act 2 in this video, and after that, that'll be it for this episode. And then, more than likely, the next episode will be the finale of Tails' story. Because there's not a lot left that we have to do in Tails' story. So. Not a lot we have to do. So here we are at Red Mountain. This is when Sonic completed Red Mountain. Yep, same cutscene. The only difference is that Sonic doesn't have the shield bubble around him. And again, he's just standing sideways on the plane. Now what do you say we nail those guys? You guys, hang on! 
so here we go. Chasing after the egg carrier again, and we're now in Sky Chase Act 2. So yeah, we're just zooming right through Tails' story. But uh, this will be the last uh, stage that I play before I end the video off. So, this will be the last one. And then, uh, more than likely, the next episode will be the finale of Tails' story. Then after that, we can move on to Knuckles' story. Because we still have two more action stages to complete after all of this. We'll do all of that in the next part. I don't have uh, time to do it in this video. Let's just destroy these guys again. There we go. Get rid of them. Also get rid of those spinning tops with, with, the, with the spikes on them. Spinning spike tops. There we go. Get rid of some of them. Then I have to don't don't have to deal with them later. All right. There we go. Got rid of some of them. Oh my goodness gracious! What is going on with the controls? All right. Calm down. Jeez. Oh. All right. Get rid of these things right here. Come on. What in the world is going on with that laser? That laser is just spinning. <laughs> Never seen that before. Never saw the laser just spinning around like that. That was weird. Alright, so we got this cutscene. Here we go. What the heck was that? Weird graphical glitch there for a second. Alright. Okay, so they're firing at us. Darn it. No, no, no. Get rid of that. Get rid of these things. Alright. Starting to go underneath the egg carrier. There. Get rid of these guys. I could just completely ignore them if I wanted to, but it's more fun shooting them down. Watch out for the sp spikes. Spinning top spike bombs. Alright, going up here. Gonna fire. I can just avoid them. Oh, look at the pro dodge. There we go. Go right past the engines. Get dangerously close to the engines. Alright. And here's the, the sort of difficult part. With all of the spike bombs getting launched at us. But it's okay. We'll make it. We'll survive. We have a lot of health anyway. So chances are we will survive. Alright. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Let's just go and uh, destroy the egg carrier's cannon again. Let's turn around and let's go. Let's just fire a barrage of bullets. Here we go. Hit it while the cannon's open. Get out of the way. There we go. I'm doing some damage to it. The cannon's on top here. Wait, why is it not opening up? Okay. I think maybe I need to stop firing in order for that to work. Like, for the cannon to open up, I mean. Alright, come on, cannon. You're only firing, like, one spike ball at a time at me. There we go. We got rid of the cannon. We're done here. Now we just gotta land on the egg carrier. There we go. Alright. So we're not gonna get an emblem from this because we already completed it. Wow, I, I I like how how Tails just says, ah! and then and then the cutscene loads. Yeah, here we go. Crash landing. Well, I'm, I'm gonna at least make the Egg Carrier transform first before we get busy. We'll get busy in the next part, Sonic. Let's just watch the Egg Carrier transform first. 
How about I give you a little sample? <laughs> yeah, and here we go. So the egg carrier is transforming again. We've seen this before in Sonic Story. Whoa! Whoa. Yep, so we have to go through the sky deck, and he says... Oh, this must be the sky deck, huh? Yep, and then he just turns around, but we're gonna go to the sky deck in the next part. So, we still got quite a bit of stuff done today. We battled Knuckles and defeated him. We also defeated Chaos 4. We completed Sky Chases Act 1 and 2, and we also completed Sand Hill. Uh, took back the Chaos Emerald from Froggy, used it to power up our Tornado 2 plane, so, yeah. But, uh... We're done for now, because this video is getting pretty long, and I don't know what's what's pushing me back. Okay. More force fields, apparently. But yeah, we're gonna go to Sky Deck in the next part, because I'm done for now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next part of this playthrough. Later!